So we commencing the 30th September NFP week, by the way. So let's first of all just go over the economic calendar. Monday is behind us. Uh, there wasn't really anything special uh, apart from the speech. And I actually underestimated the impact of that, to be honest, because I thought, oh, it's just far away. And historically, I haven't seen a big move either. So I thought, okay, through it, right? <laughs> but then actually that turned out to be really important because what happened is the market was actually in range before the speech. So I was actually aiming for this, right? Expecting a hard time for a move here when I saw this, and this was just bait, and <laughs> likewise here, which was also bait. Um, and it never actually got here because it was never the objective. This is where the speech came out, but it was contained in a range. And look, as soon as it came out, it runs real hard one side. <clears throat> so that just shows you again in the future, we want to take account of if there is a chairman speech, just dial your equity or don't trade at all, okay? Do one of two things, definitely. <sighs> but moving on. You have ISM Jolts. Yep, definitely I'm not going to trade ahead of them. Fuck no. Because uh, it's just going to be too violent. Yeah, yeah. after that, once they are gone, 10 15 minutes after them, I'm going to look for setups, but not before. And then if I just come down to Wednesday again, there isn't really anything much on Wednesday, and that's uh, the New York session <sighs> is going to be the last session of trading this week because of NFP manipulation and then all of this you have some news a lot of news actually thursday and of course not to mention nfp friday technically on the chart <clears throat> targets cannot be any more obvious looking at the external range buy side premium levels and this uh gap this cb over there <clears throat> and uh yeah so what we were gonna say is that's the draw on liquidity but <clears throat> manipulation wise don't i wouldn't really hold the bias to be honest it could pretty much do anything you have monday behind you which is a bit of an advantage look how it's closed here typically on nfp sometimes it would run aggressively towards the draw hit it and then just go in a chop basically but it did not do that Which gives me some confidence that we may want to continue tomorrow, day after, whatever, right? But then again, I wouldn't uh, ignore the levels that we have here, such as this level, this, these bissies, basically, and then DXY part. <clears throat> again, the external discount is going to be our draw liquidity. You have, like, look at the amount of time spent here, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's spent way too much time here, so again, I would want to see it on a hard time frame, leave that area. And leave it with energy. And try to gravitate towards the previous monthly low. You have the CED levels there. Um, shadow party wise, it can go up here. Not really likely to, but it can. But then again, look, there's no point of having a strong bias. Especially on a week like this, but general direction is I'm aiming for this side, okay? So that's the business. We can go here, keep going here, keep going here, and if it comes, boom, goes up. Or not bother with that and actually just cause a huge reversal, go up, and just keep tanking higher, and then if it comes, and then we just do nothing. Basically, just two sided a week candle, or we just crash below. Like there's just so much possibility that it's not even worth it holding the bias with that one, so. This is what I'm leaving it at at the moment.